Okay, we're going to start our test off. We have our Italian uh, Cavalry Carcano that we just got from Classic Firearms. And we're going to go and run through our standard series that we've been doing. Uh, this gun in particular actually has a really nice bore, but from looking at the front sight, you can't drift it from windage and it's been battered down. So I believe this gun is going to shoot extremely high. This one was built in 1901 in fairly good shape. So let's see what we can get out of this gun. Okay, we're kind of down to the bottom of the PPU ammo and I'm not going to buy any more. Uh, we got three rounds of 123 grain soft dip that I'm going to shoot through here. a little bit of a larger boom than the other ones. Okay. Alright, just as I thought, aiming down there, higher than hell. There's our three shots. Not too bad. I'm going to do three of the 139 grain PPU full metal jacket. The bullet is undersized on this load. Okay, shooting at this one, we're still high. Okay, still getting up there like I assumed with that front sight. So you'd either have to replace that with a higher sight or something, or this gun's going to be kind of problematic shooting way high. That's like 9, 10 inches uh, at 50 yards. And that's having the uh, front sight blade way in the bottom. Uh, in the notch. So we'll try the 160 grain and see if that makes any difference. Now I'm going to do the whole six rounds with that Hornaday torpedo bullet. Like I said, this is the closest thing we can get to the actual military round. At least the bullet's the same shape. I am aiming a little bit lower for using the sights as best I can.
All right, using the heavier bullet and kind of, I mean, I just lined up the rear sight and got to where that front blade was not visible in the notch. Brought her down some. So, also it's the correct diameter. And the reason it's kind of spread out is because it's hard to remember the sight picture that way. They're not precision sights, but against a human target, it's more than acceptable. Now we're going to go on to our cast bullet load. That's a milder load, so the recoil and noise and that will be cut back a little. And hopefully, uh, it'll get it down on target to lighter charge. Okay, the cast bullet with its lower velocity got us down to where we we're close to the bull. Still pretty spread out. What's, what's kind of killing me is I have to pull this all the way down and I don't see the front sight. Line the notches up and I was lining them up like a little bit lower. Like instead of right on the red line down around here. And we got five up there, but then we had the weird flyer way down. I must have slipped or flinched or something and dropped that other one down onto the lower target. But still, you can figure these guns out and get them to kind of hit uh, where you want them to. Okay, my expectations came through looking at the uh, sight and shot high. Uh, one of the things about Carcanos, and the reason a lot of people don't like them, is you can, with the rudimentary sights, you can figure out where the gun will shoot. But you have to expend a lot of ammunition and practice to get there. And at a dollar to a dollar fifty cent a round, that turns a lot of people off. And it's not simple. You have to work at it, and that's why a lot of people do not like this rifle system. I think it's fun. I like the challenge. Okay.